gonna start doing vlogs more consistently, hopefully with the blue screen behind me instead of the kitchen. Um, I'm going to work tomorrow, if anybody cares. This day is December 4th, this Sunday. Uh, I cut my hair, if everybody realizes. You know, because they have Mohawk thing going on. Uh, cut my hair, finally, cut it really short, military style. Put my uniform together. I'm gonna be doing a video on how to, I'm gonna show you my uniform, and then I'm actually gonna be with permission of my soldier showing how to put his uniform together. Uh, it's actually a class A, and I will be, um, I will be putting the uniform together, so if anybody's interested in how to put a class A together, uh, which is a dress uniform we have, I will be doing that, and also, it's too close to the camera right there, I'll also be putting together army service uniform uh, next month. I will be purchasing it when I go back to the United States, uh, which will be in January. I take that back. I will be purchasing the new uniform, hopefully, uh, the beginning of January. While I'm still here, I'll purchase the uniform. If not, I'm going to order it to my uh, parents' house. But I like to see it, then buy it. So, um, in saying that, uh, what have I been doing? Shakeology, uh, P90X. I've been trying to stay on top of P90X. My weight has stayed at 199, 200 though. I'm trying to drop 25 pounds in the next two months before I report to my unit. So let's see how it goes. Uh, the reason being that when you show up to a unit, you have to be within you know AR 600-9 regulations of weight control and height weight tape program or uh, regulation. So I am within that regulation right now. My body fat is about 20, 21 percent body fat uh, at this moment with the measurements that I have now that I've been taped at. So, in saying that, it went down from, I'm allowed 24%, which now the Army is trying to make it you know, a skinny thing now. Uh, God forbid i got to carry someone 220 pounds, but the guy who's 161 pounds can't carry someone who's 220 pounds, can he? Probably not. So, that's always been my gripe. So, with muscle comes pain in the tail. So, my body fat, last time I got taped, was 23%, and that was almost six months ago. So... I've lost 2% body fat so far, but I've sustained. You know, at one time I was 212 and now I'm 199, so I want to lose more weight and I'm trying to lose more weight and my waist has been getting smaller, so let's hope that that goes well. So, in saying that, um, a couple of other things uh, going on right now. Uh, the Sergeant Major of the Army Chandler is trying to make the Army a skinny army. Now, this has been happening. Um, the statistics show that the Army, uh, after Desert Storm, cut down almost 29,000 troops. Think about that. 29,000 troops were booted from the Army for being overweight because we weren't at conflict anymore. It was before uh, the World Trade Center happened and before we went to Iraq or Afghanistan. So there's no need to say, all right, well, you're a little bit overweight. Or you're 23%. You're borderline. Let's work with you. We'll, you know, we'll keep you in the Army because you're in combat. There is no combat pretty soon. You know, Iraq is winding down. Afghanistan will hopefully wind down one day, and there will be no need for soldiers to be deployed. Uh, but we'll see. It's not up to me. I don't make the decisions. But saying that, since there's only one conflict, there's going to be a huge influx of soldiers. And the Army is actually trying to trim 49,000 troops, almost 50,000 troops in the next five years. So where do you think they're going to go first? They're going to go for the fat bodies. They're going to go for the people who pop, pop, pop on drug tests. Go on, see ya. People that can't pass their PT test, go on, see ya. People that uh, don't pass their tape, go on, see ya. And it's not going to be second and third chance. It'll be you got one chance. Once that chance is done, you're gone. The Navy's already letting sold our seamen go because they're over strength, same as us. So they're already giving people their notices. I think they've already given out almost eight to 10,000 seamen notices that they're gone. So. How do you feel about that? Are you scared that there might be a redundancy like there is in the UK? Can you stop, please? Just comment questions below. Uh, if you feel that you're scared, nervous, uh, servicemen, spouses, that you may get a letter in the mail and you're just going. It doesn't matter if you're in deaf or not. Uh, and, you know, with the economy being the way it is, next video is going to be on the Time article called The Other 1%. Which the article written about, which is saying how the civilian side and the military side don't come together and don't meet eye to eye and we don't understand each other. So stay tuned for that. See you later.